playing ladies and gentlemen boss is back and today we're gonna be playing some good old medieval yes it's been a long time since i've played this i actually played it on the psp not long ago and uh it's about time to get back to it played some played again playstation for pro edition not edition but just you know on the playstation 4 pro so uh I hope it looks great. I hope it plays great. I've seen the trailers. It looks great. I mean, it still looked like it could, it could use a little help. But I feel like uh, the game, game should, should be good. I'm excited for it. And uh, I hope I'm still in a time halfway decent. Ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galamir, you guys want to watch this? I bet you do. Zarok. Do you? Pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir so mean. Fortescue, look at my boy, militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge. Word into the accursed multitude. How Sir Daniel fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last God gonna hate me for talking over this. I know it. He destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. Bum bum bum. Yo, I would love there to be a prequel to this game. I know it won't be the same, but it'll be interesting. You won't be able to do the same attacks and stuff like that. Like the whole spinning, like torso spinning all the way around. Like you won't have those types of attacks and stuff like that. You know, his head popping off. You won't get that. If there's a prequel of him when he was alive. Sony Interactive Entertainment presents something spooky. Now I'm recording this on Halloween. It's probably going to be up November 1st, though. So my apologies, guys. I know the game came out a few days ago. I mean, it came out this week, so. And we also got Luigi's Mansion 3 that I'll also be streaming probably today. And by today, I mean November 1st. And there's also Battlefield 5 update. There's a lot of freaking stuff going on, man. And we're on the final countdown to Death Stranding. We got a week. A week left for Death Stranding. Oof. That's gonna be that's gonna be the day. Then after that, we got Pokemon Sword and Shield, and on the same exact day, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Oof, so much stuff, man. So much good games. And I'm... And I'm gonna play them all. <laughs> and I'm still playing... Apex still playing uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Oof, So many games man How oh, he already have blood on the axe come on man
Red Riding Hood, not you too. I'm just playing. This is giving me such nostalgia of the 90s, man. I, I should have grabbed my, uh, my medieval PS1 copy. Should have grabbed it. I don't know why I didn't. It would have been perfect to show you guys the original copy of the game. Oh, yes. This is nostalgic. I remember playing the demo for this game before I actually picked up the game. In the same demo, the, uh, the same demo disc, I don't know if you guys remember. Let me know in the comment section down below if you remember this demo disc I'm talking about. It Not only did it have this game, like the first part of the game, on the demo disc, it also had the first part of Metal Gear Solid. Come on. PS1 days. Which, what that hand do? I'll stop. Let's check options real quick. Uh, FX, okay, audio vibration. I don't mind. Should I play invert? I'm gonna play invert it. Yeah, now you guys are like, what? I the HUD with L3 button? Hell yeah. Right, this subtitles, yes. Are we good? We're ready to get in the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Six minutes into this and well seven minutes into this and we still haven't gotten no gameplay. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Deep inside the dungeons you find our Unlikely hero, Sir Daniel Fortescue. I'll admit these graphics aren't stunning. They aren't, oh my god, amazing. But it's just a better looking medieval, man. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, you missing your other eye, buddy. I love seeing that the bones can blink. Like your, his skull is just blinking. I guess that's how it works. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. Charge! Before the war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. What the hell? Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance <laughs> to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. I know there's a different camera angle. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, it's inverted and it feels normal. That is crazy. <laughs> Y'all probably like, what are you talking about, boss? I'm playing inverted, so when I hit down, it goes, it goes, yeah. It feels normal. Is that weird? I haven't played. Read a book. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on a bit. Back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. So games like uh, GoldenEye on N64, I have to play inverted. Games like, believe it or not, Grand Theft Auto, I play inverted. It's just I'm used to it. I don't know what it is. 
coins are used but if I play any other games they need to be normal and by normal I mean not inverted because some people to them inversion is normal should I read all this stuff I mean I played the game I appreciate you when you're ready to leave this crit I appreciate you Daggers. Some weapons contain powers and ability. I was trying not to waste the daggers. Nice. All right. Got the shield, got the sword. Yeah, thanks, Mom. I appreciate you. Good. So this is the other way we can play. Actually, like, really cool, though. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galamir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Well, at least we know his magic stinks. Magic stinks visually. I don't know about smelling wise because Sir Daniel doesn't have a nose. So he doesn't have to worry about smelling that. Ah, yes, the world map. Hold on, my bad. Almost hit replay the level. Let's go to the graveyard, which we already are at, but we're finally rising from the dead to take on the dead and put them back into the ground and then come back and see that they came back out of the ground and we need to put them right back in there like the dead don't want to stay dead just like sir daniel all right so is it interesting playing this way i'm just trying to figure it out okay now, i know i can hold it and why is this hand looking at me bro you got a problem with me boy Oh, it's my boy. What? Took some damage. All right. Shield. I gotta remember. Well, I, I feel like these buttons are a little different. Okay, we got that. Staggers. Jump. Okay. Shield. Okay, so we can teabag. Welcome back to your That's cool. Is there a... Yeah, I got destroyed. How's that feel? This, this angle. Does this angle lock on or anything? I want to try this angle. I mean, it's alright. I feel like this could have been done a little bit better. Yeah, I got, uh, by the way, if you guys want to see review of this game, I'm going to review it. I'm going to play it through, from beginning to end. I'm going to review it. And I won't... Like... I'm, I don't know. Alright. In the comment section below, do you want me to play the game and review it? Or do you want me to do a walkthrough? We can do a walkthrough for sure. I 
I daggered him in the face. Oh yeah, you can hide this. This actually feels pretty cool looking at it like this. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of reju- Yeah, I know. Oh, my bad. I forgot to block. My shield's getting all messed up. Okay, Rex, son. I don't know. I mean, I, I like I like this, but I feel like it's just not comfortable playing like this. I mean, you also move slower, so. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved galaxy. I hear you. So basically, there's gonna be, there might be some other things tucked away and hidden, so that that we can only see in this mode. So I'll just keep that in mind. I mean, you move slower when you walk like this, so I don't think it's good for combat reasons. Zombies. Damn, this is... Okay, I, I could, I could, I could get into playing like that. Oh, I feel like it brings a different perspective to the battles. Yeah, yeah, the sidestep stuff. That's actually pretty interesting. I, I dig it already. Nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Okay, but we can also just turn the camera like this. This is something we couldn't do before. The chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a sword, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes. Sacred hall of heroes. So you're slaying me. I'm not a hero, huh? Take that. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Okay. Taking hits. Not too bad, but we're taking a few hits. that boom boom okay getting better at the combat here now when that happens sidestep oh he's not really okay he wasn't even jumping at me thought he was oh, whoa. all right so this is what i'm Not working as intended. 
That's okay. We can heal up. We'll be fine. Oh, sh Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem. You're right, you're right. Another shield. Chalice. Yes. I mean, I think it's really cool to, that you're, we are able to change uh, direction. I appreciate you. You know who you're fighting? Oh, I'm getting super tired. <laughs> Not, it's late. I'm playing this since late. I should be sleeping. But I'm not. I think it's... Nice to be able to decide if you want to have this open or not. How do I get this chalice thing again? I can't remember. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to attack. Secret passageways that I would have missed if I didn't come back here. Nope. Okay. I'm having more fun. I think it's a little weird the way he swings his sword, but uh, hey, that was never mind. Thanks for the warning. Damn, loading times are quick though. Love it. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. I love the uh, facial animations. I mean, though they're not like amazing, but they're pretty good. Uh, I don't carry shit, and that's why. All right, we good. Took all my money. Are you having a hard time eating the money? To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their desert. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Ganymere. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, sir. I feel like he said, watch it, you. Alright. I just bought 
all those daggers. Yolo. It's a nice sword you got there. Can I borrow it? I think that was Hercules, right? Got one. Oh, this fellow looks familiar. All right. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level. Sure. Oh, my bad. Now imagine a remake of Soul Reaver. <clears throat> Just saying. That would be interesting. Because this is bringing me back so much nostalgia. This is a longer loading screen, but to me, it doesn't bother me at all. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Still cheesy. Love the new angles and stuff like that. Pretty cool. All right, so we're going to continue this on the next episode. Uh, if you guys uh, choose it uh, worthy to continue so uh definitely hit that like button and uh let me know know in the comment section down below what you guys think should i walk through or just do a review i'll probably be able to beat it in like a few days more than likely it won't take me too long i played the shit out of this game as a kid uh i mean it's gonna feel new to me it's been a while so maybe it won't be that easy but uh feels pretty easy so far I probably won't 100% it, like uh, all the little side stuff and things like that. I know there's a little few side stuff you can do. But um, anyways, I'm head out now. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know if you guys want to see more. As always, you know what time it is. Peace.